Five years ago, in 2017, scientists maneuvered the Hubble Space Telescope to look into a dark patch of space that lies beyond the limits of our solar system. What they saw had never been seen before. The picture captured a gigantic 18-kilometer or 11-miles wide comet approaching towards the Earth. This was and is still one of the farthest active comet ever spotted. Scientists believe that the comet dubbed Comet C-2017 K2 Panstars, called K2 for short, is finally making its way into view of Earth. Although it was surpassed last year by a distant megacomet known as Comet Bernardinelli Bernstein, about which a full thorough video is already published on the channel. K2 will pass closest to Earth on July 14 when it will be around 168 million miles or 270 million kilometers away. Given how much attention the comet is receiving, you may have had many questions on your mind. Such as, can I see it from my country? What are the best times to observe the comet? And perhaps most importantly, can we see it with our naked eyes? So come along as we unpack all of the details. If you haven't seen any comet in your life, do not miss this amazing event. The comet dubbed Comet C-2017 K2 Panstars, called K2 for short, was discovered when it was hiding somewhere between Saturn and Uranus, about 1.49 billion miles or 2.4 billion kilometers from the Sun, which by comparison is about 16 times farther away than the Earth is from the Sun. K2 has been journeying for millions of years from its home in the Uid Cloud, a spherical area at our solar system's outskirts. The ice remains from the solar system's origin 4.6 billion years ago make up the hundreds of billions of comets in this chilly region. The comet began to create a sizable dust cloud or coma as it got closer to the Sun. The size of this dust cloud was nearly equal to that of Jupiter. Comets, which are composed primarily of frozen gases, rock and dust, become active as they get closer to the Sun. The Sun's radiation swiftly warms the comet forcing its solid ice to sublimate or transform straight into gas and create the coma, a cloud that surrounds the comet. Additionally, some estimates indicate that K2's tail may extend up to 500,000 miles. When it reaches closest to the Earth, experts predict that the prolonged coma and growing tail will be visible at a distance of around 290 million kilometers or about 16 light minutes. The tail of comet K2 is currently very active and it looks to be in a permanent coma. This comet could still be producing gas and dust and be active, which would account for its unusual appearance. This could be a little problematic. Since the sun's heat causes the comet to spew gas and dust, a comet needs to be near to the sun in order to remain active and observable. Since K2 is still distant from the sun, it is difficult to determine what is happening. It's likely that something else is driving the action. For instance, ice mixing with other substances, but we don't know for sure. Although the true size of Comet K2 is yet unknown to astronomers, it has the potential to be enormous. Initial sightings suggested it may be up to 100 miles wide, while Hubble evidence places it at a much more conservative 12 miles wide. To put this in perspective, it is roughly the size of two stacks of Mount Everest. On July 14, when K2 will approach closest to Earth, it will be around 168 million miles or 270 million kilometers away giving it a zero likelihood of a comet collision. Now comes the time you've all been waiting for, the best timings and locations to view the comet. The comet has been increasing brighter as it has continued its journey toward the inner solar system. The fact that this comet does not approach the sun as closely as Hale-Bopp did in 1997, unfortunately, means that it will not be as easily observable. K2 should brighten to magnitude 8 or perhaps 7, but even then, it will still be too faint to see without a telescope. Although, a tiny telescope may be used to find an object of this size with ease, the contrast will be better the darker the skies are. As many of you may already be aware, the greater the visibility of a celestial body, the lower its brightness magnitude should be. Currently at magnitude 9, it's faintly visible from rural skies in a small 4.5-inch telescope. You'll probably need a 6-inch telescope to see clearly from an area with higher light pollution. The best viewing window for the comet is from around an hour after local sunset to around 3 in the morning. Try to search in at around the Ophiuchus constellation. 
You can also download one of those fancy apps with star maps. Beginning in May and continuing through September, Comet K2 may be seen with small telescopes from the Northern Hemisphere. As seen from the Northern Hemisphere, it gets closer to the southwestern horizon after mid-September. A few months later, on December 19, 2022, the comet will be closest to the Sun. After that, in 2023, it will be optimal for Southern Hemisphere viewers to look at the constellation to Cana for an hour after local sunset. Our current understanding of Comet K2 may not remain constant. Ordinarily, the Sun disrupts cometary plans, occasionally making them brighter and more active. Sometimes the Sun simply breaks them apart. Astronomers are interested in what will happen to Comet K2 in 2022 and the years after that because of how strong it is without the Sun. What do you think? Do you like watching comet flybys? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. Thank you for taking the time to view this video, I hope you really liked it. Consider subscribing to the channel if you liked the video. And as always, thanks for watching.